Welcome back to the weekly top five with Gearblux. And today we are taking a look at the Racer 4 and this is by Kepler. So we're gonna go ahead and jump inside and see how it works. So we've got H is light. That's at the bottom. We've got W and S. We've got servos, motors, which I guess is gear up and down. And then we have our A and D for turning. So let's give it a try. All right. It's feeling pretty good. I'm only in gear one right now. Okay, gear two. Okay, really good turning. Wow, okay. All right. It's hanging on. I'm not going too crazy with the speed. But, uh, yeah, it's really good steering on this thing. Okay, we're going to turn this corner here. All right, we're off the road and we're... Oh, we lost it. But no, we're still in the game. We're still in the game. So let's go ahead and speed up here. Man, w I, would you not love to see a multiplayer with this game? I think it'd be a really fun multiplayer race game. All right. It's like a rocket. Once it gets going... Yeah, I really have to watch my uh, speed. So let's try again. I just want to try to test the track for once. All right. Fun. Okay. Straight away. Full blast. <laughs> but I lose it right there because I, I don't have any brakes, I don't think, other than S. So now you know what time it is. It is time to test the braking abilities, I guess. So that way, shift Q, damage on. Yeah, whoops. Space is not brakes, just FYI. All right. This is where we lost it, I think. So we're gonna take it easy here. Okay, there it is, right there. Can I step down? No, that doesn't slow us down. That just makes the gears, RPMs go up. Okay. Oh no. There we go. We cannot make the turn. All right, very cool. This is Racer 4 by Kepler, and you can check it out. A very cool car, very, very good steering at, um, you know, reasonable speeds. And look at the gearing on this thing. Is that crazy? That's crazy. Okay, very cool. All right, coming at number two is the updated Jeep four-wheel drive 1.2 by Cobru. And it's a work in progress, but things are flying around. And I don't know, can I, can I stop these things from flying around? Doesn't look like there's anything to shift E. Let's just break. Yeah, I don't know. Things are flipping around. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we'll give it a try. Uh, yeah, it's throwing the physics off. And the, the front just fell off. Okay, but you know what? Let's just, um, let's just go ahead and, uh, turn on destruction, because I feel like this is a good candidate for having some destruction. So we're going to floor it and just... Yeah, every... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There we go. Not very stable. So anyways, the doors flapping around, the tire flapping around are causing the physics to kind of fight with the vehicle physics, I guess. So um, I need to be locked down or something. I don't know how that works. But you can download this in the description below. This is the updated Jeep four wheel drive version 1.2 by Cold Brew. Let's get to number three. Coming in number three is the gravity powered pendulum clock by Slytex. And what you do is you hold T on this and it will slowly pull this up and what it says powers is stored in the big weight on the left side of the chain as it falls it slowly releases its potential energy via the pendulum escapement mechanism to add energy back into the system without interrupting the power output it uses a high gen chain drive configuration by rotating the centermost pulley the weight ascends back up while still providing the same constant pulling force on the escapement mechanism I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds very cool. So apparently it looks like this 
This has a weight. That's the chain. Okay, it's at the top now. I'm going to let click T again. And now this weight is going to be pulling that chain down slowly. The pendulum is going to keep swinging. And the time is going to keep ticking. That's what I got out of it. And then there's gearing, gearing. Wow, I'm really good at explaining these things. But uh, yeah, you can see how it works. Very interesting. Have no idea where you start with one of these. I don't know if you just like look up a plan online. And you're like, I can build that in gear blocks. And then you do it. But uh, somebody definitely did it. Actually, it's Slytex that did it. So there you go. So if you want to see something very cool in Gearblox, then go ahead and use the links in the description to download the gravity powered pendulum clock. And, you know, watch time fly pretty quickly, actually. If that's a minute in the hour hand, time is flying by quite rapidly. All right, let's get to number two. No, 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 no. These things don't come with brakes and then they get stuck on the road and they just start rolling away and it's rolling away. Oh yeah, I can grab it. <laughs> Forgot. All right, there we go. This is number two, and this is the Ural 4320 long, and this is by Mariana M. All right, let's get inside. It's got lights on already, and uh, there you go. So we could bring our troops or supplies into battle in gear blocks, and uh, let's see. F is our gearing. There we go. And as you can see, it's very cool. Nice build. It's got like a full body, which is very cool to see in the game. Anytime you see a full body on all of the uh, the crazy gearing and stuff, it just like brings the vehicle to life. So there you go. Let's go ahead and floor it and uh, see if we can do some damage to it. But it looks pretty solid. It's got the wheels in the back. Oh, there we go. Let's hit one of these. Pretty tough looking. Pretty tough looking. So, very cool. Again, this was Euro 4320 Long by Mariana M. And you can download it in the description below. Let's get to number one. All right, coming in number one is the Trophy Truck by Santa. And as you can see, this has a cool engine in the back. Has a gearing down below. I think, is the gearing below or is the gearing actually back here? Can't tell. It's probably down in here, right? Oh, you can't duck in this game. I forgot about that. But anyways, yeah, it has a body, a shell, and everything, and some cool sand tires. So let's go ahead and get inside, buckle up, and let's go off-roading. All right, let's see. How do we shift? With shift. Okay, there we go. Let's go on the outside camera. As you can see, it is an off-road monster. Uh oh. It's okay. We don't have damage on. We're good. But uh, yeah, feels good. Feels like an off-road truck. Uh, the sand tires are kind of slippery in the front there, but feels pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and turn damage on. So we'll stop it. That's not brakes. That's not brakes. That's not brakes. That's just brakes. I always hit space. All right, let's go ahead and turn on destruction. Let's see, there's some mountains over there I want to climb. There we go. Looks really good. I think that right there, I want to see if I can climb that. May have to shift down, which would be control, right? Yeah, control. All right. Let's see if that'll work to get us up the mountain. Wait, maybe that's the wrong gear. Maybe that's the wrong gear. Okay, there we go. Maybe that was the wrong gear. Okay, hold on. I don't know what gear I'm in. Okay, that's definitely the wrong gear. Because now I'm going backwards. I think we just need to go up with speed. So we'll just do the speed. And go up. Yeah! Alright. Up the side. You can do it, little thing. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Alright, look at that. We reached the summit. Awesome. Okay, so let's stop right here. For a second. Well, let's stop right... I don't know if I can stop. Can I just stop for a second, please? Let me take you to an update. So there was a small update release for Gearblock 0.7.8726, and it implements a feature called Attachment Bridging, and it is in the Builder Tool extension script. So if we watch this video here... All right, so the idea is usually the shocks can only go straight up and attach 
to another one. So what he can do now is if he opens up the mod script, go ahead, script mod, and builder extension, you go ahead and enable attachment bridging. I act like I know what I'm talking about. And uh, you can then attach your shock to a different part. And then when you spawn it, it will give you the angled shock. Watch. There you go. Do you see that? There he goes. Yeah. So there you go. For your builders, it's a new way to build some angled shocks on your builds. All right. So let's wrap up today with uh, taking this car to the limits, which would be probably going back down. Let's do it. There we go. Kind of floor it. What? The wheels fell off just going down the hill? No! It's true. It did. Just by going down the hill, they fell off. That's odd. I didn't think it would be that tender. You know what we should do? Let's see really quick if this four-wheel drive has been updated with the latest features. It does not look like it. No, this one hasn't been updated. Should I attempt? No, I'm not going to attempt it. I was going to say, maybe I can do it, but I don't think I can do it because I'll spend an hour trying to move this block to the side and all that. Yeah, we're not going to do it. But anyways, this has been the Weekly Top 5. You can, of course, download all of these vehicles using the links in the description below. And I will see you next time.